finished 30 minutes before. Thank you, it was a wonderful speech. Uh, I'm one of the few people here that uh, I'm sure uh, I wrench in my life, right? But I, have, I want to come back to the concept of free will. Yeah. The whole philosophy, the whole system is based on that. If, yeah. we, will, if we discover that free will doesn't exist, right? The, the whole tower falls. Apart. Yes. And you mentioned St. Paris earlier as well. Some what? St. Paris. Paris. Yes. And you, I'm sure you know that he's not a huge fan of the concept of free will. He's even an advocate of the illusion of free will. He wrote a whole book about that. And the whole field of neurosciences today yeah. is working actively and making progress about the fact that we start to understand the brain better and better. And for now, until now, the evidence seems to suggest that indeed free will is really hard to locate. Yeah. And so, again, I'm a huge fan of Ayn Rand and her philosophy. But if it appears that free will is indeed. Then who cares? I go, and then, then who cares? Then this discussion is meaningless. Then why am I here? then it doesn't, nothing I say matters. I mean, to me, the idea we don't have free will is, is, a, is so bizarre. It's so ridiculous. And, and with all due respect to the scientific information, we're still at the very, very beginning of understanding how the mind works. To make declaratory statements based on research that suggests that they see something happen before you raise your arm or all this stuff that I read about is, is absurd. It's ridiculous. Um, we, we're at the beginning of the science. There's still a hundred years before we fully understand what, how the mind works, at least. Uh, newer, new, newer scientists that I talk to who are familiar with philosophy say that the science has almost nothing to say about free will. Do you have some books you recommend that would be... I, 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 not anything I could do off the hand. If you send me an email, I could, I could, I could ask around. I'm not an expert. But to me, it's ridiculous. Science will never tell us that we don't have free will. Let me make that clear. Science will never tell us that we don't have free will any more than science can tell us that reality doesn't exist. That's the level at which free will is at. Maybe it depends on how you, you define uh, free will because it's a difficult concept. It's a difficult concept. So Ayn Rand defined free will as the, as the ability. It's, it's the choice to focus your mind, to be in focus, to, to, to initiate contact with the world. Or to not, right? Focus or not to focus. It's not about whether I raise my hand right now or not. It's primarily about the issue of are you in focus or are you not? Are, are you activating your mind or are you not activating your mind? And you, something, is activating that mind that is not, um, that is not, uh, what do you call it, billiard ball causality related. And she defined causality different than David Hume defined causality. She defined causality as the thing acting based upon its nature, not the thing acting because something else acted on it. And the nature of consciousness, of human consciousness, is to have free will. It acts based on its, on its nature. And you cannot undo a philosophical concept like that with science. Science ultimately will tell us how it all works once free will is there. But it won't explain. It, it, it won't explain a way. It cannot explain a way free will. Any way, any, any different than science can explain a way reality. Science will never explain a way the existence of this glass. No, we accept that. But because I see it, that's why it can't explain. Because I see it. It's right here. I see it. There's no question. You can see your free will. There's nothing special about your senses that your introspection doesn't have. I know, I, you know, quantum physics has not made me change my mind about this glass. No science that you come up with will make me question the existence, because I see it, of my free will. I know that I'm choosing to be here in the sense of to, to be engaged. Right? And I know that. And that's knowledge, the same kind of knowledge that seeing this glass is. It's the same philosophically, epistemologically. Those are the same types of knowledge. The problem with science, the scientists today, not the problem with science, is that they, 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 they have a corrupt philosophical understanding of these, these concepts, and therefore undermining, uh, you, you know, the science, the, the philosophy is undermining the real science. What they're discovering is not correlated with what they think they're discovering, philosophically. It's the same problem I think they have with quantum mechanics. Uh, quantum mechanics is an observable reality. This, this, what's going on there is real, but how you interpret it that's a question of philosophy of science. How you interpret the, 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 the results, the neuro, neurological results, 
is a question for philosophy of science. And, and the question of whether you have free will is not a scientific question. It is a, it is a observational question. It is an axiomatic question. It's something you observe directly, just like this class. It's the best I can do. Not my expertise. Not, you know, I'm not in epistemology. But that's, that's, that, I think that's what Ayn Rand would, would, would say. Thank, Thank you. you.